The Taipei Urban District Railway Underground Project was divided into four phases. The first phase was the Taipei Project, the second phase was the Songyan Project, the third phase was the Wanban Project, and the fourth phase was the Nangang Project. The previous episodes have introduced the first three phases. This episode will continue with an introduction to the Nangang Project. The Nangang Project, starting from the Keelung Road entrance in Taipei City and extending eastward to Chidu in Keelung City, covers a total length of 19.4 kilometers. Construction began in 1998 and was completed in 2011. Its greatest significance lies in the successful relocation of the last section of surface railway in the eastern district of Taipei City to underground and the elevation of the railway between Shiji and Wudu, setting an innovative example of railway grade separation. The contents of the Nangang project include the Daking River Section Tunnel Project, the underground project of Songshan Station, the underground project of Nangang Station, the Shiji Mountain Tunnel and Approach Project, the Shiji Elevated Railway and the projects of Shiji Station and Wudu Station, the Wudu Freight Yard and New Wudu Tunnel Project, the Chidu Station Project, and the Chidu Facilities and Chidu Marshalling Yard Projects. The Daking River Section Tunnel Project efforts to the undergrounding of the railway between Songshan and Nangang stations. This includes the construction of a double-track tunnel and a ramp for both Taiwan Railways and High Speed Rail between Keelung Road and Daking River, each with a length of 5.4 kilometers. Construction began in 1998 and was completed in 2008. Songshan Station was constructed in 1891 and was rebuilt into a wooden station building in 1940. In 1986, to align with the Taipei project, the original wooden station building was demolished and replaced with an overtrack station building. In 2003, to facilitate the Nangang project, the undergrounding of Songshan Station began. During the construction of the new station, operations were moved to a temporary station, and the original overtrack station building was subsequently demolished. On September 21, 2008, the newly constructed fourth-generation underground station was officially opened. This new station comprises two multifunctional buildings, which include facilities such as a station, hotel, shopping mall, and offices. Following the completion of the station, trains began operating in the underground tunnel, stopping at the underground platforms. After the railway was underground, Nangang Station and the freight yard land were redeveloped according to the Taipei City Nangang District Urban Planning. Nangang Station was planned as a composite station integrating Taiwan Railways, High Speed Rail, MRT, buses, medium and long distance passenger transport, taxis, and a shopping mall, becoming a new landmark in Taipei City with three rail systems co constructed. The station area layout follows urban design plans, featuring five new north south roads and one east west road. Additionally, five buildings were constructed above ground with sky bridges on the second floor connecting these buildings to form an integrated shopping street. This design facilitates the separation of pedestrians and vehicles, making shopping more convenient. Plazas were also created between the buildings, turning Nangang Station into a safe, comfortable, aesthetically pleasing, and accessible space. The Shiji Mountain Tunnel Project, part of the Nangang Project's Underground Railway Initiative, was implemented to facilitate the development of Nangang Station and the railway's undergrounding. This project involved constructing a single-bore double-track tunnel for Taiwan Railways, using the new Austrian tunneling method. The project spans from Lane 7, Guangfu Street in the east to the east side of Daking River in the west, with a total length of approximately 2,130 meters. Construction began in 2002 and was completed in 2005. The Shiji Elevated Railway Project, the first urban railway elevation project in the country, began construction in October 2002 and was officially opened in 2006. The project spans approximately 5 kilometers, starting from under the Freeway 3 bridge in Shiji in the south to the new Wudu Tunnel in the north. The project includes 2,024 meters of double-bore pre-stressed box bridges, 
493 meters of arched concrete bridges across rivers, and the elevated station projects of Shiji and Wudu. The Wudu Freight Yard is located north of Wudu Station and serves as the primary freight distribution center in the northern region. As part of the Nangang project, the operations of the Nangang Marshalling Yard were transferred to the Chidu Marshalling Yard, while the freight operations of the original Chidu Marshalling Yard were transferred to the Wudu Freight Yard. After the construction of the Wudu Freight Yard was completed, a 3.7-kilometer dedicated freight line was added between the Wudu Freight Yard and the Chidu Marshalling Yard in 2003 to facilitate cargo transportation. The Wudu Tunnel, located between Wudu Station and Baifu Station, consists of three generations of tunnels, the first generation tunnel, the second generation tunnel, and the third generation tunnel. The first generation tunnel has now been converted into a bicycle path. The third generation tunnel was constructed to meet the needs of the Nangang Project's railway elevation and railway triple tracking and was completed in 2002. The second generation tunnel, which had been out of service after 87 years of use, was reactivated in 2003 as part of the Nangang Project's dedicated freight line between Chidu and Wudu Freight Yard. In 2012, to accommodate the Nangang Project's railway triple tracking, the elevated third railway line between Shiji Station and Wudu Freight Yard was connected to the surface-level second-generation single-track tunnel. Due to the inconvenience caused by the separation of the front and rear sections of Chidu Station, the Nangang project included the consolidation of the original front and rear stations of Chidu Station in 2007. The first floor of the station was connected to the road and the underground passage of Ziji Street to facilitate passenger access. Additionally, a passenger service corridor shopping street was established along Ziji Street, connecting to the station's main building, making it a landmark in the Chidu area. Upon completion, the new Chidu station will replace Songsan Station as the terminal station for premium passenger trains on the Western Trunk Line. Furthermore, the second platform will provide passenger services for short-distance trains between Keelung and Chidu, bringing an efficient intercity transportation system to the Chidu area. The Chidu Marshalling Yard was constructed in 1968, primarily responsible for freight train yard operations. At that time, it utilized the latest hump yard equipment from the 1960s for vehicle dispatching. Trains were pushed to the top of a hill by a shunting engine and then classified automatically by gravity, with vehicles being adjusted to their appropriate reduced speeds based on their weight. In 1994, the yard was converted back to flat shunting, and the hump yard equipment and signal tower were dismantled. In 2005, the Nangang Marshalling Yard ceased operations due to the Nangang project, and its functions were transferred to the Chidu Marshalling Yard. The new Chidu Marshalling Yard was completed in 2005, stretching approximately 3.5 kilometers north to south and 200 to 250 meters east to west, covering an area of about 45 hectares. It is divided into three zones, the passenger car zone, the freight car zone, and the rolling stock. Currently, its primary function is passenger car marshalling, replacing the Nangang Marshalling Yard as the preparation base for scheduled trains on the Western Trunk Line. Most of the freight car marshalling operations have been transferred to the Wudu Freight Yard, while the rolling stock handles train maintenance. The marshalling yard is primarily responsible for the assembly of freight cars and the dispatching of passenger cars, playing a crucial role in train deployment and operations. The first-generation Nangang station was constructed in 1899, initially having only a platform without a station building. At that time, it was called Nangang Jakuju. In 1905, Nangang Station was relocated to its current address at No. 39, Dongnan Street, Taipei City, and expanded into a Japanese-style wooden building to handle the increasing traffic volume. In 1986, to facilitate the railway undergrounding, Nangang Station was moved westward and reconstructed as a reinforced concrete structure. Additionally, a Nangang Freight Station was established on the southern side to assume the freight function of Huashan Freight Station, which was decommissioned during the undergrounding process. 
To accommodate the Nangang project, the freight yard and old station were demolished and replaced with a new underground station. This new station is the largest underground railway station in the country. It serves as a co-constructed station for three rail systems, Taiwan Railways, High Speed Rail, and Taipei MRT, and includes shopping malls and space reserved for future development. It is a multifunctional composite station. Nangang Station is the largest composite station structure in the Taiwan Railway Network and the tallest station building in Taiwan. The main structure consists of five buildings, A1, A, B, C, and P, interconnected by sky bridges. Building A1 is a three-story structure with an east entrance and exit. The eastern side houses the exhaust ventilation rooms for Taiwan Railways and High Speed Rail, while the western side is used for commercial purposes. Buildings A and B form the main structures of Nangang Station, each standing 30 stories tall. The first floor includes a medium and long-distance bus station, commercial spaces, and three entrances and exits on the south, north, and west sides. Floors 2 to 30 are commercial districts, featuring CityLink, Vaisho Cinemas, and Global Mall. The Bannon line of the MRT is integrated with Nangang Station, with four exits. Exits 1 and 2 are located at the southern end of the MRT station, and exits 1A and 2A are at the northern end. The interior walls of the MRT station feature large colorful murals from Jimmy Liao's picture book Sound of Colors, adding an artistic touch to the station. Building C is a 14-story shopping mall, and Building P is a 12-story parking lot. The first underground level of Nangang Station houses the MRT concourse level and the high-speed rail platform level, with three island platforms. The second underground level is the concourse level, featuring tickets for Taiwan Railways and high-speed rail, ticket vending machines, ticket gates for Taiwan Railways and high-speed rail, a railway police bureau station, a Taiwan Railways information desk, and the Bannon Line MRT platform with one island platform. The third underground level is the Taiwan Railways platform level, with three island platforms. The Nangang Railway Underground Project concentrated the management of passenger and freight trains in Chidu and Nangang, utilizing the train yards and railway right-of-ways for land development. The project removed 15 level crossings along the line, alleviating traffic congestion and easing traffic flow around Bufenpu and Rauha Night Market. This also improved the city's appearance by reducing pollution. The co-construction of three rail systems at Nangang Station provided convenient transportation, spurring rapid development in the Nangang area. With the completion of the Nangang project, the 28-year-long four-phase railway underground project in Taipei City has finally concluded successfully. This pioneering and challenging project set a precedent for railway undergrounding and resolved decades-long traffic issues in the greater Taipei area. It successfully connected Taipei and New Taipei, creating a more comfortable metropolitan living environment. As we enjoy the convenience of improved transportation, we should sincerely thank all the heroes who participated in this monumental project.